While the pathetic mainstream media here in the United States continues to keep everybody distracted, meanwhile over in Europe, Russia is deploying short-range ballistic missiles to its Western European enclave. It emerged earlier this week as President Putin threatened countermeasures against NATO's expansion in the area. A senior Russian MP said that Moscow would permanently station the nuclear-capable missiles in Kaliningrad, a region between the NATO states of Poland in Lithuania in retaliation for a military buildup by the alliance in Eastern Europe. John Kirby, spokesman for the U.S. State Department, said that the deployment of the missiles was destabilizing to European security. He added that we call on Russia to refrain from words or deeds that are inconsistent with the goal of promoting security and stability in the area. A Pentagon official said such a deployment would mark as an unfortunate and destabilizing action. NATO's missile defense system, for which this action by Russia is purportedly a response, is not oriented toward Russia. Right. Sure. I'm sure they're telling the truth, right? In an interview with the filmmaker Oliver Stone broadcast in Russia la last night, Mr. Putin said that Moscow felt threatened by NATO expansion and would try to counter it. Why are we reacting to NATO expansion so emotionally? We are concerned by the NATO's decision making, he said. We must take countermeasures, that is, strike with our missile systems the targets that, in our opinion, begin to threaten us. The developments come less than two weeks after Donald Trump's victory in the U.S. presidential election prompted concerns over the solidarity of the alliance which he has denounced as obsolete and expensive. Experts said that Russia's actions represent a challenge to Mr. Trump, whose reaction could be hard to predict. It is a dangerous moment, Igor Stugyong said, a Russian expert at the Royal United Service Institute think tank said. Nuclear-capable Iskander missiles were deployed to Kaliningrad last month, but yesterday, Victor, head of the Defense Committee in Russia, Upper House of Parliament, said that they would stay there permanently. He added that the Iskander and S-400 missiles were in the enclave because of the danger posed by the U.S. Defense Shield, which went operational in Romania in May. Another part of the shield is being prepared in Poland. Russian fears that those sites could be converted into strike positions for the U.S. cruise missiles are being confirmed, Mr. Ozerov said. We are facing two main tasks to penetrate air defenses and ensure protection from possible strikes, he said. As response measures against this kind of threat, we will be obligated to strengthen our aerospace defense in that direction. Military sources in the Russian capital confirmed that talks were being held Fikri Iskov, Turkey's defense minister, said on Friday that it was holding negotiations on the S-400 not only with Russia but also with the other countries having similar systems. Russia's position on the matter is currently positive. Whatever the case may be, the situation continues to steadily decline over there in Europe. The United States putting up uh, missile systems over there, Europe putting up missile systems over there, the EU, and now Russia is putting up countermeasures to counter those positions of U.S. and EU's missiles over in that area. It's only going to continue to destabilize the situation over there. What do you think, guys? Should Russia put up missile defense systems to protect their interests over there, or should they just simply leave it alone and possibly let the United States and Europe wipe them out? Let me know what you think below this video. Thanks for watching. <laughs>